who can tell me what technology is? Brianna. Technology is almost anything created to solve a problem or meet a need. Okay. Who can tell us what technology we are creating in this lesson today? Samantha. We're creating a maglev train system. Okay, maglev transportation system. What is the problem that we're trying to solve today? What is the problem we're trying to solve? Stephen. Um, we want to solve um, how to make um, a maglev train and how it could stay on the tracks. Okay. Who can tell us about the engineer that we are learning about? What type of engineer are we learning about in this unit? Geraldi. We're learning about a transportation engineer. Okay, when we're making our system today, remember those two important words, safety and efficiency. Now, before we started this, we had a lesson about magnets, and it was called Magnetic Personality, in which you all had the stations that you worked at. Um, who can remind us why we did that unit? Why we did that lesson? To know the properties of magnets. Okay, it was to know the properties. And then we brainstormed and we came up with different properties that we tested or that we learned about while we were doing it. And these were the different ones that we came up with. On the first part of the paper that you filled out, it was the ask paper. So they wanted two properties from this list. Who can give me one of the properties that we thought was important for the maglev transportation system? Kevin. Like poles of magnets repel. Like poles of magnets repel. Why do we want the magnets to repel when we're making this system? Thomas. So the magne magnetic Maglev transportation system will levitate. Will levitate, okay? And we have to figure out how to get it to levitate. And hopefully this will help us. What was the second property that we felt was important? What was the second property? Deborah. Magnets are only attracted to cer certain materials. Okay, they're only attracted to certain materials. Um, how are you going to know, after you create this, if your system is successful? Trisha? It will levitate. It will levitate. And hopefully, with a little nudge, what's going to happen? Samantha? Um, it will go across the trail by levitate. Okay, and remember those two words I said? about the transportation engineer. How is it going to go across? It's going to go ac levitate across, and how are we going to describe how it's going? Brendan. Safely, safely and efficiently? Yes, so it'll be safely and efficiently that it will work. So we talked about the properties. We talked about which ones we're going to zero in on to make this, and we talked about how we asked how we imagined when we decided to do our individual design. Then we planned when we collaborated with our group on one plan. And right now we're at the fourth stage, which is create. create. How are you going to attach them? By tape. Okay, which type of tape? Um, now I want to know one thing. In order to make it levitate, what do you have to know? Which sides are which? So, so I need a barbine. So take a barbine. Thank you. Wait a minute. How are you going to attach the magnets? Oh. We're going to put it on the foam. Right. But how are you going to attach it to the foam? Put the tape. Good. So those go on each corner. We got the tape. Not connecting or repelling? On a machine. Check if that's repelling or connecting. That's connecting. Alright. So, Joe, if it, re if it repels, do we just tape it normally? 
Yeah. Right. So no, this is we, we tape it, repel it. Right? Okay. See, now it, yeah, it's the open sides, sides yeah. right now. If we can get something to like block it, maybe it'll work. But no, the stronger they are, probably the more they'll repel and like lift it up more. Yeah, but it might just flip over because the stronger they are, if it were to just balance off track, it would just go, it would it, say it's repelling. And and we let go of it, and it would just stick to the side. Now we will test the magnetic levitation transportation system, which looks like it's attracting. Are you sure? I think we need a. When we improve, I think we need to make the it wider so it doesn't slide to an and try to get the other um, side of the other magnetic pole and it attracts. Yeah. Or at least take off some of the magnets in the. Middle. Did you check check the poles? Check take the um, bar magnet right now, and check the poles on all these magnets because what do they have to be? in relationship to those. This is north. So if that's north, every magnet has to be what? South. I mean, north. North. If it was south, what would happen? One minute, Joe. What would happen, Giovanni, if it was? They would so one of them, a couple of them might, might be south. So do you think it might be a good idea to check the poles first? Yes. OK? Well, these are north, so these are on the north side. OK, and what's that? North. North. But what I think is happening is this side here is like a different pole than yeah. this. So it's oh. trying to slide over. Okay. So on this one, repelling, but it's connecting on this one. Because if you do this. Okay, this so. One, it's like, it's not trying to get inside shape. there. Yeah, it's trying to go like that. So it's trying I think to hop itself. If we made it a little bit wider and lost some of the magnets that go run through the middle, it would work better. And when we improve. Okay, so what would the next step be? It would be to improve a part I designed. And answer these questions. And then you can figure out what you would do differently in your second design. Okay? Because why is it important to record something about your first design? Because then, it, so then when you, when you look back at it, what do you get? And Good. you could change what was wrong. Okay, what didn't work? Um, we put disc magnets at the bottom on top of strip magnets so it has more repulsion. And we have a, um, styrofoam um, to hold up our cup. Side. How about how about we take off the um, extra magnets? Isn't it supposed to move by itself? Yeah. Uh, what we needed was to put more magnets under here, Darn it. so it wouldn't just go like that and stay flat. Yeah, but more wouldn't it stick under. to the side more? No, that's true. That's what, when it's going, the middle, the one in, right there. when it's going, it's moving over to the side, so it goes oh, down. Wait. Uh -huh. One here and one here, then put two right here. to do something? Yes. Can you turn it around so I can see in that little window? Thanks. Look at the little window and see what's happening. Wow. 
it's working, but we just can't push it across like really fast. Mmm. This is Maybe really it needs hard to, to be. Thought. Maybe it has to be levitating through the styrofoam. Well, we tried that when we were but doing we it with the pencil. It. Yeah, but we didn't tape it. We need. To, we need to. You think you, you might have put too much magnets on? Maybe. Yeah. That's I think the middle magnet might be too much. Yeah, that one's way too big. Because the two of them would just balance itself. So that's why it's sticking to the sides. Like. Like. Make sure. Make, let me make sure I get this right. What? I know why it's sticking like to that. the sides. See, it's sticking to I, the I know why it's sticking uh, to the sides. Because, like, over here. Yeah, that's look. Right. See? You see? It doesn't look this too. See? Yeah, so that's why it's sticking to the sides. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, you want to ask, put everything in there. Do you know what you did? Yes. We okay. will regroup tomorrow. We have to break up in about a few minutes from now. But what I'd like to share with you all is the Maglev transportation system put together by this group. The first time we did it, we kind of messed up because it we saw it was sticking here and then it flipped over. And do you know why that occurred? Yes. The strip magnet was keep on attracting to one of the other strip magnets and then it kept flipping over to that one. Okay. Over and it kept flipping. So your second design, you improved. What did you do away with? We didn't put the strip magnet on. You didn't put the strip magnet on. Yes. Did people get ideas? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>